Hello, good afternoon, students. Welcome. Hello, sir. Now the important points we told you about the carbohydrates are the main source of energy for us, and you have seen monosaccharides, disaccharides, polysaccharides, oligosaccharides, and you have seen certain disaccharides which we studied about: sucrose, maltose, mm. lactose. Can you tell me out of this which are reducing sugars and which are non-reducing sugars? Students? So out of sucrose, maltose, and lactose. Out okay. of which, out of this, which are the reducing sugar students? Reducing sugars are those which give halic solution test. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Tell me about that. Gives the uh, test for carbonyl group which is present. I'm so I'm so lactose and maltose are reducing. Sucrose is not reducing. Yes, that's the correct answer. Now, after that, students, what we try to show you, the important point is where is a linkage, glycosidic linkage. I talked of glycosidic linkage, student. So the question which was asked in the paper is what is glycosidic linkage, student? What is the glycos? All you are saying is that the monosaccharides in the polysaccharide, in the polysaccharides or in the other, what is happening, students? The the monosaccharides are held by monosaccharides. They are joined by students joined by a linkage which is called glycosidic linkage. Yes, sir. What is glycosidic linkage, students? Important question for the exam. What is a glycosidic linkage has been asked many times. So. How will we give the answer of that, students? Only monosaccharides, polysaccharides. Every time I represent by an oxide linkage. So what is happening? What is happening, students? When the two monosaccharide units are joined by an oxide bond with the loss of water molecule, that linkage is called glycosidic linkage. And you will see yes, that sir. if the number of monosaccharide units are ten, how many glycosidic Glycosidic linkage will be there. This question has been asked. How many glycosidic linkage will be there, student? How many are there? In the two, there is one. In the three, there mm. are two. Yes, sir. In the four, there will be three. So uh -huh. there will be one less than the total number of monosaccharides. Okay, sir. Always you will see. For example, student, then what we were telling you. This is a, all the important questions have to be discussed in our lectures. They are important because. lectures must include question answers which will help the students in exam students so we will study as well as we will learn we will do lot of questions mm. uh, you will see that the question is uh, as i said the starch is very important is a main storage polysaccharide of plants starch starch student so uh, are you eating starch tell me are you eating starch students Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are eating starch, and in fact, that is the important uh, dietary source for uh, the human being: starch. And you are eating roots, uh, tubers, vegetables, cereal. Students, mm. what Bread. is a starch? Student, what is a starch? What it is made up of? Now, question is this: question in the paper, what is a starch? What is a starch? It is a polymer of. It is a polymer of which glucose? Students. Alpha or beta? Polymer of polymer of starch is a polymer of what we said alpha glucose. Yes. And you have been told to glucose alpha D glucopyranose and beta D glucopyranose. We shown you two of that. Our structure was drawn for this reason only, student. In yes, one sir. the OH group you will see on the right, on the the left, and uh, when you will draw the our structure, you know the right comes um, below. And the uh, and the left we write on the top of the pyranose structure. I hope you. Yes, sir. But I said we have drawn the Haworth structure, students, and that is what we are using to show you, to show you, students. And uh, the starch is made up of two components. Can you name the two components of starch, students? Question, question for you. Name the two components of starch. Question in the paper. What are the two components of which the starch is made up of, student? 
it is important we keep on revising students or we will forget we will forget the things which we are learning there will be questions in the paper students you are aware of amylose yes sir and second what they call as amylopectin yes sir the second question was what is the difference between amylose and amylopectin give two differences between students give two differences between amylose and amylopectin student yes, where is the main difference according to you students what difference you find students what do you find in the amylose amylose student what you find in amylose students this is about 15 to 20% in the starch yes, sir is it water soluble or insoluble this is water soluble students water soluble component important point student and you have amylopectin students now when i say amylo students the important point is that in and the amylose is it branched or unbranched chain this is a unbranched chain it is a unbranched chain student polymer of alpha d plus glucose how many units are there more than 100 units will be there more than 200 units will be there which will be linked together where is a linkage where is a glycosidic linkage student important question that is the next question now amylopectin what is that that is actually a branched one you are know there is a branching branched branching in amylopectin there is a chain of c1 to c4 then c1 to six six branching is there is it right or wrong so these are the questions which are going to be asked students so difference is between them or what uh, where are the linkages between them they become questions in the paper students uh, so this is what we have to learn so where are the linkages student the alpha link as we have shown here this is our amylo c1 and c4 c1 and c4 you can see that's the yes sir where the linkage is there more than 200 300 up to 1000 glucose units can be there and and that is amylose and we told you about uh, amylopectin it is insoluble in water amylose was soluble in water student and 85 to 80% is there and it is a branch branch chain you can see there is a chain and then there is a branching of that which is at c1 and c6 glycosidic linkage is there the question is always asked that uh, where is question where is glycosidic they will ask you glycosidic linkage in amylose and student amylopectin you have yes sir sir the two questions are there not one where is the linkage in the two here the linkage was that glycosidic link bond was formed between c1 and c4 of alpha d glucose there are two alpha d glucose student two alpha d glucose unit students uh, which formed a glycosidic linkage at c1 and c4 carbon in amylopectin there is a chain student in the chain there is a, a c1 and c4 glycosidic linkage glycosidic linkage is at c1 and c4 yes sir and the branching there is a branching also which is at c1 and c6 carbon that glycosidic linkage is also there there are two linkages in this case that is important point and this is water insoluble amylose was water soluble and important questions are asked on this which the starch components of starch is very important for the exam students i hope it is clear as you can see this this is a chain a student chain as this line shows the chain continues chain continues 200 to 1000 units are there and then there is a, another branching branching within the chain branching c12 yes sir c6 c1 c6 
again oxygen 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 this is a glycosidic linkage so glycosidic linkage is a important question for the di tetra or polysaccharides i hope it is clear students this is yes sir clear sir so we have to know where the linkage is where the glycosidic linkage is student they have asked it repeatedly okay all right student we coming to the next molecule which is cellulose what is a cellulose this is mainly in plant student it is a most abundant organic substance in the plants it is also the cell wall of the plant cells are made up of cellulose cellulose now what is cellulose student it is a polysaccharide cellulose is a polysaccharide students then mean it will contain more than 200 units of glucose now which glucose is present in the sac in the cellulose student which part of the glucose is present in the cellulose that is a question what is cellulose they are polysaccharides so cellulose uh, uh, contains which glucose up to now uh, in the starch we have shown you what glucose was present which glucose is present in the starch you can see we have told you which is this alpha d glucose what are these alpha alpha d glucose d glucose what is the difference between this and this such questions will be given what is the difference student now what is the difference which glucose is involved here beta d glucose see the difference yes sir beta. yes sir beta form of glucose is there and this is a straight chain straight chain students polysaccharide so there are beta d glucose and where is the glycosidic linkage student these are the questions where is the glycosidic linkage in cellulose answer it fast student glycosidic linkage in cellulose which carbons can you see which carbon near writing this this carbon is not one you can see this is one so c1 and what is this 1 2 3 4 c1 yes sir c4 these are the point where glycosidic linkage is between the beta d glucose molecule student which are those beta d glucose which units beta d in the starch what units i told you alpha d got it so yes sir what is the difference between the two and that is why we have drawn the haber structure because these molecules will require the position of the oh group student at, at, at position of oh group in the case of glucose you know changes anomers anomers we told you what are anomers yes or no so yes sir are aware of we are uh, repeating revising so many things so that they come in your mind student and you know what type of questions will be there on them okay noted noted everything copy the do so much okay note everything note everything make notes of these points which i write are important they will become questions in the paper beta d glucose straight chain student they are present in the cellulose whereas in the uh, Uh, starch you have seen alpha d glucose units and starch are two component students this is a simple what is it straight chain straight chain polysaccharide straight chain polysaccharide student and all the units are beta d glucose and the glycosidic glycosidic linkage is between c1 of glucose unit and c4 of the next glucose unit yes sir such question will be there where is the glycosidic linkage where is the glycosidic very very favorite question so we have to understand we don't have, they won't ask you to draw the structures of the nobody is asking you got it nobody is asking to draw it is not possible only the glucose or fructose have a structure has been asked in the paper that we have told you how to draw it theek hai disaccharide and they, they will not be asking to draw them okay sir all right further you see we are coming to the last part of this carbohydrate carbohydrate which are the main parts of the energy source for us in our dietary source also starch we are using glycogen student glycogen 
these are these are carbohydrates carbohydrates are stored in animal body as glycogen inside the body you see storage of carbohydrate is there how glycogen it is also called animal starch why because its structure is similar to amylopectin but more more branched structure similar to which it resembles with what structure similar to what amylopectin we are saying certain points to be noted student amylopectin yes sir so amylopectin similar to amylopectin not to not to amylose i did not write amylose so that questions can be put that similar to which part of the star student amylopectin but it is more complex more highly branched student more highly branched structure so the structures are more complex and it is present in the liver student where it is present liver liver a uh, liver kharab ho gaya liver kharab ho gaya dekho ye sara problem hai liver mein hai Pre liver muscle and brain muscle and brain student all these chemicals are inside the body cells are making all these preparing them when the body needs glucose enzymes break the glycogen down to glucose are they are stored stored in the body you are not eating food for 5 hour 10 hours or one day or two day what will happen there is a glycogen glycogen then it will dissociate to produce glucose enzymes will do it so this is enough for the glycogen not much is required as per our course industry okay. students can study more in the biology biochemistry part our main chemical chemical type of compounds and where the structure is where the linkage is whether what type of sugars they are students uh, what is the bonding glycosidic bond i talked a lot in the saccharides okay students we move to the next for example question is given questions we try to discuss as much as possible glucose or sucrose are soluble in water but cyclohexane or benzene are insoluble in water what answer you are giving for this easy very easy question yes sir what is the answer 30 seconds for a question student time starts now yes sir what answer you will give glucose sucrose are soluble in water but cyclohexane or benzene are also six membered rings but they are uh -huh. insoluble in water what determine yes, the solubility in water or yes, sir. Um, sir this is because uh, they have they are polar in nature glucose and sucrose and more uh, interesting thing what is in glucose so many oh groups are there what will they do yes, oh groups oh group will do what with water so they are polar so they will dissolve polar only only polar oh group i am saying what oh group does with water student what is the oh group does with water if you are um sir what they will do with the water oh groups what sir, the um yes sir um sir i think they will make a uh, So the 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 um, the oxygen oxygen will will have have a a negative charge and the hydrogen will have a positive charge and positive they will form what what do you call this there will be intermolecular hydrogen bonding hydrogen yes, bonding sir. student can you see hydrogen bonding it, 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 there is so much of oh so intermolecular hydrogen bonding will make it what they will become soluble hmm. so what are the expected products of hydrolysis of lactose such questions will be there where they will ask sucrose is hydrolyzed write the products maltose is hydrolyzed write the product student such question will be there question for example they say ki write the hydrolysis so many times they ask this question hydrolysis hmm. products of and saying sucrose what the sucrose gives on hydrolysis student hmm. b maltose and see lactose what will happen what will they produce that the monosaccharides are they are made up of what are the two monosaccharides present in them that is the main same question so what is there in lactose lactose contain what student what it was giving beta d galactose mm. and 
बीटा डी ग्लूकोस चेक इट आउट आई कैन बी रॉन्ग चेक यू हैव टू चेक दिस व्हाट आर द टू यूनिट्स इट केस दिस आर द इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस स्टूडेंट्स दे दे कैन आज बिकॉज़ दिस हैज बीन आस्क्ड इन द पेपर मेन मेन इट्स नॉट लाइक सच क्वेश्चंस आर गिवन व्हाट इज इन माल्टोस अल्फा डी अल्फा डी ग्लूकोस प्लस व्हाट एल्स इज देयर अगेन अल्फा डी ग्लूकोस यस सर बोथ आर ग्लूकोस and what did you get in sucrose sucrose so much you know already what is the two product monosaccharides coming from sucrose alpha d glucose and beta d fructose okay sir such questions will be there in paper student again and again i am telling important Make a note of everything. Make a note of everything. I will forget by the time I reach exam. But I am telling you, such questions are going to be there. You have to uh, get used to them, learn them, students. All these type of are coming. Note, keep on noting, keep on making notes, students. These notes helps us. After you do it, then I proceed further, students. Yes, sir. can i proceed further or you are noting i'm um, two minutes two minutes okay two minutes. note down everything every question i write is important because you will experience them in the exam yes sir copy okay so far so good students now coming to the another important part of the you see uh, biomolecules protein student proteins are you are already eating protein are you eating protein yes sir Actually, without protein answer is no Uh, your body has needs proteins so what are protein students what are proteins so they are the bio, bio molecules of the living si system where do you get the protein you are uh, drinking milk cheese pulses peanut etc so mm -hmm. every part of the body and form fundamental basis of structure and functions of life you have yes, every sir. part of the body has protein student every part of the body it, it, there is no reason you have to be taking proteins every day so they are required for the growth and maintenance of the body in the life so um, protein earlier was given a name because of prime importance to the life prime importance in the life but basically what are these protein students we are saying they are polymers of alpha amino acids chemistry now the chemistry begins polymers of alpha amino acid student what do you mean by amino acid <coughs> but it will contain two things nh2 group as well as cooh okay amino acid but there are different types of amino acid here we are saying alpha amino acid student what do you mean by alpha amino acid c alpha amino acid so amino acid contains two groups nh2 and co so depending yes. upon the position of amino group with respect to carboxylic this is my carboxylic group student this is called alpha carbon this is called beta carbon this is called gamma this is delta alpha beta gamma delta and so on hmm. alpha carbon when this one this carbon so yes, there should be nh2 group at which carbon alpha carbon this one mm. this should have nh2 student alpha carbon then it will become alpha amino acid alpha amino acid you are saying something like this student i am putting nh2 this is my cooh group this is the alpha carbon alpha carbon so at the alpha carbon there should be some nh2 there is a two things are always there coh and nh2 yes sir and now what can be the other things if i put h and i put r or r can be anything different i can keep mm. on changing r and i will get different amino acid different amino acids so student what we are saying 
you have R C H C double bond O H N H two. This is at at alpha position. At alpha position, you have N H two. Yes, sir. So what they found when they uh, analyzed the proteins, they were giving alpha amino acids. <coughs> this acid is given that alpha amino acid is produced. Alpha amino acid is produced. Alpha amino acid. Hmm. So. If I R group can be changed, R group can be changed, student. Then I will get different amino acids. So what we say that how do I write? There is a way of writing. Supposing I put it like this, student. This is my carbon. N H two H R. Hmm. In this case, uh, NH2 group has been put on the left hand side. If the four groups are different, then it becomes a chiral carbon. Yes or no? Yes, sir. It is a carbon student. If four groups are different, one, two, three, four. If the four groups are different, it becomes a chiral carbon. Such compounds become optically active. Hmm. Optically active. And we have already said, if the NH2 group is on the left side, they is called L. If it is on the right side, it is called D. Mm. But there I defined big D and big L for OH groups. Now I'm saying if L is on the left hand side in the amino, that will be L. If it is on the right, it is called D student. Yes, sir. And students, we have a list of 20 amino acids. Hmm. Which are used in the proteins. Twenty in your NCRT book, you will find how how do we? For example, here from NCRT book, I have taken only a part of the part of the table. Actually, there are twenty such amino acids which have been listed. They are called natural natural amino acids. Natural amino acid student. And in the list, you will see 20 mm. in the book. A table has been given. And you will see their names are very trivial. I mean, very, very different glycine, allylene, valine, glutamine, serine, thyrosine, histidine, proline. So you have seen their names. And also in the table, you will find that structures of commonly occurring amino acids along with their three letter and one letter symbol. Yes, sir. There is a three letter symbol, student. And one letter symbol, which is used for amino acids. For example, the part of the table is shown here. See, this is the R group. This R will change this is there, this is there, this is, these are always present here. Mm. H, NH2, COH. Now R will change and new amino acids will be formed. What we are talking of? Alpha amino acids students, alpha amino acids. And I said in the book they are given 20. Mm, yes, sir. This first one, if I have R, H, if R is equal to H student, it becomes glycine. So what will be the formula of glycine? We can write glycine student. This is my glycine. Okay, sir. Will it be optically active? Question. Will the glycine be optically active students? Um, sir, glycine. Yes. Will it be optically active student? Let me think, sir. 30 seconds to answer the question, students. 
जिसका कार्बन तो मैं चला से रुमन ना था सर आई डोंट थिंक सो भाई सर हैज नो स्टीरोइसोमर्स देयर आर फोर डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स नो द क्वेश्चन इज इट इज नॉट अ काइरल कार्बन if four different groups are attached to carbon then it becomes chiral mm. these two hydrogens are same therefore this carbon is not chiral student it is a chiral mm. molecule therefore it is not optically active which one is this glycine and three letter word for this they use gly and one letter word g the one letter mm. word is also used for them so that we have to see in the book what letter glycine is g student one capital g another one is alanine alanine will be formed if i have r equal to this 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 group becomes ch3 student then what i am saying c o o h h nh2 h instead of h you write ch3 This is alanine student. Tell me, will it be optical active? Will this be optical active students? Uh, I'm sorry, which one? Um, alanine. Yes, sir, it will be. Carbon attached to four different groups. So this carbon is chiral. This is optically yes, active. In fact, except except glycine, glycine all of them all are reactive yes, yes. because they will have asymmetric carbon. Okay. Asymmetric carbon is that carbon which is attached to four different groups. Student, there are four different groups: one, two, three, four. And three letter word is A L A one A, capital A mm -hmm. alanine. Valine students. then r becomes in this r you replace by ch3 twice ch it becomes valine v leucine then replace r by this group it is called leucine three letter word l e u one letter word for leucine l they will use in amino acids mm. here only i have shown 420 are given in the book you can see i mean histidine proline tyrosine Christine, serine, so many are there. Twenty are yes, natural alpha amino acid. Twenty. The important thing you see here, student, three letter word and one letter word are been listed for these. One more thing you see, certain where I have put the star, and this is no star here. Did I put star here? Here. Why did I put a star? star is put on certain amino acid you can see mm. what it means students these are essential amino acids okay sir what what is the difference between essential and non essential amino acids question was asked in the paper what is the difference student between essential and non essential amino acids mm. can you do you know what is the meaning of that yes sir what what are essential what is the difference between essential and non essential amino acid student this question mm. was given in the paper what answer we are writing those which can be made by the body we have given you a list of 20 natural ones those which can be made by our body student they are non essential because we don't need them body will prepare them but mm. those which cannot be prepared by the body they have to be given from outside source from the food from the food or any other thing which you are eating that is the reason sometimes each protein has a different specific function student yes sir it is not one protein inside the body different type of proteins are there because they are made from different sequence of these amino acids Yes, they have different functions in the body. So, if the deficiency of one protein is there, it doesn't mean it will come from the same food. Different foods have different types of proteins. Student, that is another important point. You have seen that there is a cow desi ghee. 
which is being sold at 800 there is another one which is being sold in thousands of rupees also i have seen them with a art of living that is a special cow which has a special protein in that costing very very high cost maybe 12000 rupees and see it has a strong medicinal value nowadays we are talking of eating products which have medicinal value student medicinal value mean what they have compounds composition student which is different and what composition they have different proteins those proteins which are not given by one are given by some other food products mm. so we will need proteins in our body that we know and they they most of the enzymes are also proteins you know about it but yes sir so many different type of proteins are there and one food cannot give every type of protein this is the story in the body uh, uh, and uh, uh, we can uh, see how the 20 amino acid will be linked in so many ways they can link and form different type of proteins mm so that is why you put student star and not a star 20 in the book you will see a table and this question was asked what is the difference between essential and non essential amino acid give one example of each now one example mm -hmm. is asking this is a chapter where they will ask you write bas kuch nahi there is no numerical no problem student only we have to know facts facts have to be known and given in the paper yes sir so here we have to remember at least glycine is there is no star on it glycine is not a is a non essential valine is essential amino acid at least remember two three names for the paper let us say what give example of non essential and essential amino acid so yes, leucine star is there that means it is essential amino acid we will need it from where from where it will come from the sources which you are eating food all right so we have information here few more example as i said star is essential amino acid and isoleucine arginine lysine student the yes. r group is mentioned here r group because we told you how to draw the structures of the student nh2 is written on the left side so this is l all these are l l configuration and you are writing c o o h here and what you, you have seen i have shown it here and h to c o h and h on the right side r group this is being changed this is our r group this one this is our r student you yes sir this group here it will become isoleucine put this group here we will become arginine this group here like lysine okay so we are now aware of 20 what 20 essential 20 natural amino acids twenty natural amino acid students we are saying and uh, the proteins is the result of the way these different amino acids will get linked up together together mm. and yes sir it protein will be a polymer student and let us see what is the classification of amino acids next point classification of the amino acids how do we classify dekho amino acids have got two groups amino acids minimum of 1 nh2 and 1 coh must be present theek hai hmm. this is a basic why it is basic this is acidic group tell me yes or no yes sir dekho nh2 group what is this h you write h This is a lone pair of electron, and this can accept a proton. This can accept a proton student lone pair. This is a Lewis base. Hmm. Lewis base student, and what is happening to OH? And we told you in the reactions of this, this can 
give h plus h plus ion students if this h plus goes then it becomes acid so becomes c double bond o, o minus h plus so it contains acidic group and basic group yes sir so we can classify them if there is more than one nh2 group or if nh2 group number is more than coh group then what will happen if you have equal number of nh2 and coh group student then it will become neutral yes neutral. sir but if the num if equal number if nh2 group number is more then coh group number then what will happen it will become basic and if coh group is more then nh2 then it will show acidic behavior so it yes, sir. the amino acids can be acidic neutral or basic they hmm. can show amino acid students can be acidic basic or neutral students hmm. more nh2 groups than coh group basic less nh2 group or more coh group acidic equal yes, number sir. neutral hmm. and this is one way of classifying them one way hmm. of classifying them and we are saying essential amino amino acids which can be synthesized on the body are non essential because then inside the body you know food is being prepared by the cells yes, and if they can be prepared in the body student then we don't need them non essential but if they cannot be synthesized in the body then we have to use eat diet to get them they will become essential amino acids as are marked in the table which we have given mm -hmm. so this is a way to classify them one is the as number of amino as basic groups second we are classifying them as essential amino acids and non essential amino acids yes sir and we have to give examples of the two they will ask you give one example of each so at least we should know the name of one or two compounds of which are essential and which are non essential interesting yes, thing is this student if i see the amino acid it contains a ns2 group and coh group this is acidic group this is basic so what can happen is this h can leave and go and attach with this ns2 ion okay the result will be student this will become positive ion this will become negative ion now there is a positive and negative charge separation student such ions are called zeta ions hmm zeta ion student it has a positive and a negative charge the separation of positive and negative charge is take place student these are called zeta ions there is a positive center and a negative center in these amino acids so these amino acids behave like salt student why because acidic and basic uh -huh. so they will behave like salts and salts will, will what will happen then they will be water soluble high melting solids salts you know salt they have salt means what positive and negative ion if salt is there usually salts are water soluble mm, yes sir and they will have high melting point students solids now the uh, as we have seen that uh, the uh, h can lose a proton and ns2 can gain a proton so they form a mm. ion this question was there what is a zeta ion there was a question in the paper 
what is zeta ion yes sir what is your answer that h can lose a proton because it is acidic coh group can lose a proton and h2 group is basic can get a receptor a proton and they will form a plus minus charge species which is called a zeta ion this is called zeta ion so in zeta ion form amino acids show amphoteric behavior okay sir if it is a zeta ion they will show ampho teric behavior means what students every term i write has a meaning what do you mean by amphoteric huh. behavior that they can react both with acid as well as base it can react with acid as well as it can react with base they are zeta ion student zeta ions so hmm. except glycine all other are optically active you have seen optically inactive ha uh, yes sir except glycine all are optically active why because uh. they contain asymmetric carbon students yes sir what is the condition for substance for molecule to be optically active they should have asymmetric trick carbon which we studied student what is the meaning of asymmetric carbon hmm. tell me fast 30 seconds what is an asymmetric carbon students which can which is attached to to which four different groups are attached that is called asymmetric carbon or for example for example see here ha uh, yes sir in this case what has happened student this is my nh2 group this is a carbon and this is coh group this carbon is marked one group is hydrogen other is nh2 r and coh this is optically active hmm. how many groups one two this is second group third group and for are they same or different different sir so therefore the carbon is asymmetric optically active and what has happened this h is lost student because it is acidic and nitrogen has a pair of electron it will accept it so mm. this proton goes to nitrogen when nitrogen will form four bonds it will become positive charge this is negative charge see this is a yes, zeta ion separation of charge student carboxylic acid loses its proton and nitrogen gains the proton yes sir so question was given what is a zeta ion what is a zeta ion student so only one except one all are optically active which is optically inactive alpha amino acid mm. natural amino acid which is optically inactive is glycine only glycine only student yes sir okay student what we are saying except glycine all other naturally occurring alpha amino are optically active since alpha carbon is asymmetric so they exist yes sir these exist in d and l form most naturally occurring amino acids have l configuration students the naturally important point occurring amino acids mostly i'm saying hmm most i'm saying yes sir they have l configuration hmm l configuration student and l is represented by writing nh2 group on the left hand side i did write the nh2 on the left hand side students ha hmm. this i write r here i write coh and here i write r group will keep on changing yes, but sir. nh2 group on the left side left side means l l configuration mostly we are saying almost hmm they are l configuration naturally occurring naturally occurring they have found it they have found it 
after doing experiments they found it they are almost so no. are 100 amino acid occur in nature particularly in plant in plants only 20 types are commonly found in proteins they hmm. when they rise to the protein they found 20 amino acids which we are listed yes sir in the book there is a list of 20 in protein molecule alpha amino acids are linked to each other by peptide bond students hmm. important question monosaccharides yes, are linked by glycosidic bond here we are saying peptide bond student now question will be asked what is a peptide bond student question what is a peptide bond student hmm theek hai yes sir in proteins proteins have got a peptide bond student whereas the polysaccharides were having glycosidic bond what yes sir glycosidic bond ha huh. the question is always asked in the paper what is a peptide bond student uh, this is clear that there are two groups which are present in the amino acid which one nh2 and coh group mm, yes sir they have to be there you are saying they are alpha amino acids okay there can be more than one nh2 group or there can be more than coh but this has to be there at alpha position at alpha you should have nh2 what will happen then student what will happen the result will be that you have student uh, i'm saying see you have nh2 ch2 c o o h group theek hai yes sir nh2 and coh group you have so many molecules and if another molecules comes nh2 ch any other molecule comes this is our glycine this is our alanine alanine mm. we can see in the table is what will happen students you can see that here the oh and h they can combine student with the loss of water molecule and yes, what sir. type of linkage will be formed nh2 ch2 C O N H. So C O H two O is lost. Then what is left? C O N H. C H C H three C O O H. This is called. Yes, sir. This is called a peptide bond. So this peptide bond will be present, student, in the proteins. How do we are showing? Yes, sir. C double bond O N. H student, this is the peptide bond. This one is called the peptide bond student. Okay. So loss of water takes place. NH two, and you have COH group. The result of which will be, you have NH. This is my NH two group, and you have C. Double bond O O H group students. What will happen? Water can be lost. Yes, sir. And the two will combine. So what will you get? C double bond O. C double bond O N H. Mm, yes, sir. So this is called C O N H C O N H. This is called peptide bond student. Peptide bond. Okay. So okay, sir. And more units will combine. More and more peptide bonds will be formed. So one one peptide bond is formed between two units. That will be mono peptide. If two two peptide bonds are formed, di peptide. ठीक है? When carboxylic hmm. binds with amino of alanine and an alanine student, then we get di peptide. If a third combines to a dipeptide, then what mm -hmm. will happen? Tripeptide. Like this, the process will continue. Okay, sir.
तो एलिमिनेशन ऑफ वाटर मालिकूल टेक प्लेस एंड वी कॉल इट डाई पेप्टाइड बिकॉज इट इज मेड अप ऑफ टू अमीनो एसिड्स this is called dye peptide because it is made up of two amino acids when and if three amino acids will come students then we will call it if with this another amino acid will combine third one that will be tri peptide and similarly four five six amino acids are linked they are called tetra penta or hexa mm. so when the number of amino acids is more than 10 they are called polypeptides yes sir so you have dipeptide di and uh, dipeptide when two units combine when okay sir when two un two units of carbo uh, alpha amino acid combine dipeptide when three units tripeptide mm, yes sir four will be tetra five will be penta like this and if number is more than 10 they are called polypeptides okay if more than 10 units students theek hai if mm, yes sir 10 units students combine form product then that will be called polypeptide polypeptide Yes, sir. And if a polypeptide has uh, more than hundred amino acids, more than hundred yes, students, then the molecular mass will become more than ten thousand U. Hmm. Molar mass will become more than ten thousand U students. Hmm. Yes, sir. More than ten thousand U. And then it is these polypeptides are called protein students. They are called proteins. Proteins are polypeptides, but the molecular mm. mass more than ten thousand U. They will be called proteins. Yes, sir. So in proteins, uh, we are saying proteins are nothing but polypeptides. Polypeptides, and okay. there will be in molecular mass more than ten thousand. So there will be more than 10 units more more units of these will combine students through hmm. the through the peptide bond so question will be asked to you what is a peptide okay students then we end up the talk here we will meet you in the next okay. class and continue more about proteins and what vitamins etc in this biochemistry chapter the terms which we are using are certain questions which we are talking are important keep revising yes sir they will talk okay. okay then student bye bye and we will see you in the next class okay thank you sir okay